Bradford, wherever you are, on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The match ignited with an early breakthrough for Reims, as Umar Diakait seized an opportunity in the third minute to put his team in the lead. The goal injected energy into Reims' play, setting the tone for an engaging encounter. However, Mets quickly responded with a goal of their own in the 14th minute, as Atta Atta found the back of the net to level the score. The first half continued with both teams showcasing attacking intent, but solid defensive displays prevented any further goals before the half-time whistle. The second half saw Reims regaining their momentum, pressing forward in search of a decisive goal. Mets defended resolutely, but Reims' persistence paid off in the 79th minute when Junior Ito capitalized on an opportunity to give his team the lead once again. Mets fought valiantly in the latter stages of the game, attempting to salvage a point, but Reims' defense held firm to secure the victory. Reims emerged triumphant in a hard-fought encounter against Mets, claiming a 2-1 victory. Omar Diakait and Junior Ito were the heroes for Reims, scoring crucial goals in the 3rd and 79th minutes respectively. Despite an early setback, Mets showed resilience with Arthur Atta's goal in the 14th minute, but ultimately fell short in their bid to take points from the match. Reims' victory underscores their determination and ability to capitalize on scoring opportunities, while Mets will look to regroup and bounce back in their upcoming fixtures in the League One.